Hello everyone, welcome to Phasmophobia. So, by the time this video is going up, and maybe at the exact same time, the Blood Moon event will be ending. I think it's going to be going up at almost the exact same time. So luckily we already have it completed. But like I've mentioned, we're going to go to Grafton, and then finally Point Hope for like this grand finale of everything. So I want to just have a good send off here for the Blood Moon, because this is the end of it and we probably won't get a Blood Moon event again for a while. Maybe one day they'll do a kind of like remixed version of it, but I don't think next year we'll get another Blood Moon, so I want to give it a final farewell. Well, here we are for game one. We know where the breaker is. We're on professional, so I don't want to be doing this on Nightmare again. I think I've had enough Nightmare Blood Moons. Got to escape, witness event, and then repel, so some hunt objectives. But something I was told, and I didn't know this the entire time, but when you take a picture of the Blood Moon totems, it drains your sanity. And I kind of thought that one of the last games I played, but it ended up being a Yure, so I just thought, oh, it was the Yure draining me. Oh, and uh, here we go again with the night vision. I still think I have the headlamp. I haven't played with this enough. But I'm going to save these totems for the end this time, so at the very end we'll go collect them. That seems like the smarter thing to do. Okay, good hiding spot back here with the breaker. I don't really need to be scanning with the thermo just yet. Let's just walk around. Maybe try and learn some of these, oh boy, huh, these locations for the moon so I can come back later. And I think I do know some of the cursed item spots. Doesn't seem to be anything over, oh no, it is the monkey paw. I guess I thought it would be here, but the monkey paw is holding onto the axe. How have I never noticed that? I guess this is Grafton and I just don't play it that often. Which I really should because they're gonna be redoing this one, kind of remixing this map. It's like remastering it or I don't know what the word is. Well, this is another nice hiding spot, but you gotta make sure the ghost doesn't see you go in here, so... no oh boy. I'm hoping these lag spikes start to iron out. Well, I could ask the monkey paw to... tell me where the ghost is, or trap the ghost, and that'll... at least close the... I know how that works now. It traps you in whatever room you're in, and it also traps the ghost. So, at least I could, like, try and be in the foyer here where there's... you know, a lot of open area, and it wouldn't really lock me into a room. I think that's why this map is actually kind of seen as an easier map than Bleasdale. I always felt like this was the harder map than Bleasdale, but I think this is like easier because you can do so much more looping around here, and I don't know, I just always thought Bleasdale was easier, but turns out a lot of people think Bleasdale's harder. Now the thing is, you don't get to see any of the red when you're walking around in the night vision, so that kind of sucks and it defeats the whole purpose of this, so maybe I'll stop using the night vision, but that means I'm going to be walking around just using the red now. Well, if I don't... Actually, yeah, I should be scanning these rooms at this point. So let's scan the rooms on the second floor. And we'll determine if maybe I should just go back to the first floor. But again, I... Sp See? I okay. <laughs> I was like... I don't know why. I knew that was an event. But for some reason, I tried to tell myself that could be a hunt. That's why I wanted to turn the light on. Okay, are you just out here? Look at my 5.7. Oh, maybe you are in this room. I bet that 5.7 came from over here, didn't it? Okay, another ghost in this room. You kind of like tried to lead me out of the room by doing a hunt over there. Well, the first thing I'm going to do then is just leave my stuff and go get more evidence. Now, we know the monkey paw. Do I bother going back here? You know, I don't care too much about a perfect game, and I have learned a perfect game is you just need to pick up the bone and get like all three star photos and get the ghost right and get the objectives. So for some reason I just thought you needed a bone photo specifically, but you just need all three star photos, it doesn't matter of what. You don't even need a ghost photo, which it feels like for a perfect game you would need a ghost photo, but I guess not. Well, ah, this is closed, so there's no bone. I guess I'm gonna leave the bone for now. I'm not trying to get perfect game, I'm really just trying to do the Blood Moon event, so let's not worry about doing a perfect game, let's just try and have fun with this event. So that means I need more items, and I think I'm going to be, put, be putting these night vision goggles up. And yeah, sanity is gone even without me, hmm, taking any photos. We do have the event pretty quickly. Let's put this back up. I'm just going to get basic evidence, I've been getting a lot of ghost orbs, so let me just try and look for that. And then we'll put down the book and then just set up a dots and maybe we'll see dots somehow. It's a good idea to bring in the dots and the camera so that way we can just go back in and look. 
This is a lot easier than the last weekly. I'm really just kind of still thinking about that weekly challenge. Oh, my EMF is going off as I come in here. I'm going to try and point this right at that doorway, which it kind of already is at. Uh, that's not very good. I wanted to actually check that EMF, but it was an EMF 5, so I guess I don't care. There's ghost orbs. Are we going to get another mimic? Oh, whoa. <laughs> Maybe that was a yes. Set that up towards the dots. Get the light back on. Like I said, I guess I'm not worried about photos, but... Let me take a photo if I can. Take a photo of something that talked. Or made a noise. Eh, I don't need to take a photo of that. Who is this ghost? Shannon Bailey. Give us a sign. I think we'd be down to freezing by now. But who knows with how freezing has been. I mean, we were on Camp Woodwind. So... I want to get a dots and maybe cover like the other way so that way the whole room's covered I don't know what that bang was I guess it was just me there at least uh, that's not that much better but I'll leave it oh yeah maybe I should get the book down so yeah leave the book down maybe it'll write in it as I come back for more stuff I guess the hiding spot I'm going to be using is the one back in the workshop I mean it's kind of like the easiest to get to without being seen I don't really trust that one in the laundry room also, my sanity. I kind of just left it where it was at. I think I'm going to. So maybe we should bring in the incense this time. So, spirit box, UV. Uh, let's just see if it touches a door. And then we'll probably bring in salt at some point. But I want to get a smudge in there. Of course, we get two hunt objectives during this. But I'm kind of glad because I do want to just enjoy the whole Blood Moon event for what it is. And actually, we are still going to be seeing the Blood Moon. This Blood Moon. And when I say Blood Moon event, I kind of just mean like for the Halloween event as a whole but yes the blood moon will be still a random rare event that i don't even think you'll be able to set in the custom challenges it's just a completely rare thing when you start a game well let me check this before we do any spirit box interacting that's a <laughs> that's a dot oh oh come on now maybe i should just go ahead and do this oh well you're not gonna hunt are you here are you friendly that's what I get for thinking I know what's coming up next in my inventory. Are you here? Are you here? Are you friendly? Are you close? Are you far? Are you away? If it was a mimic, it would be responding. Are you here? Are you close? Are you far? Are you away? Where are you? Well, let's leave that for now. I don't think it would have touched the light by, you know, doing the event. Actually, you're not doing much. I did smudge, so... Oh, okay, there we go. A good thing you did turn off the lights. Could have got a good photo there, but it doesn't matter. I don't like uh, the look of some of these. It doesn't seem like a they. Since we know it's dots, let's turn off some electronics. I can turn on the room light at least. But what other electronics? We got everything off, right? I don't trust Raiju as well. We had electricity in here and we were under 65 and it didn't hunt. There we go. Door touch. Did I drop my... No. Okay. So, oh, whoa. That is awful. Where? Maybe this is a banshee? The only other thing... It is ghost. Oops. I gotta look for spirit box. Oh, I, I do not have my own light. That's the problem. And it just broke the light in here. Uh... Let's leave. Okay, let's really leave. It, it wasn't doing singing events there. It was just crying. It seems like a banshee, right? But if we got spirit box... It would be a... Whoa, phantom? Wait, no. I'm just trying to figure out the mimics here, because after all these mimics, I've gotten really confused. If you get ghost orbs, we've gotten go ghost orbs, dots, and UV, so you want to say it's a banshee. But now let's compare that to the mimic, which is spirit box, UV, and freezing. So, if we're not getting the other mimic, evidence is it's not a mimic, which we haven't gotten spirit box, and it's not gotten down to freezing. And I think there's probably a way of being, like determining, okay, we've got dots and UV, and I think, well, dots is not... Oh, that's spirit. Dots is not Mimic, so a Mimic would not give Dots, so we know, actually, for once, this is a Banshee. Okay, then we can actually complete the rest of this without being uh, just completely torn by this Mimic. Like, I am just thinking about Mimics nonstop. 
Well, I guess I'm gonna keep my sanity that low. Let's just get the smudge and get this hunt over with. Then I'll take sanity and just run around and get photos, which really shouldn't take too long. I did think to grab my light finally. So yeah, I'm not gonna be using the night vision on the blood moon because it just kind of defeats the purpose. You don't get to see any of the red. Now, did you break this light? You did not. I'm going to try. I never even... Okay, that didn't take long. Are you... You have to be up here. I'm gonna smudge you once here. Go ahead and run downstairs. Now the thing is, are you gonna follow me down here? Oh, you kinda are. I'll tell you what. I got through the door. She was not around that corner, so I'm gonna trust this hiding spot. Hopefully. This isn't a cursed hunt. Oh my god, she's actually getting surprisingly close. Okay, <laughs> even though you're Banshee, you can't find me during a hunt. Well, there's one hunt survived. There should be all the objectives. Alright, let me see about getting sanity and just going around and getting these moons. Now, the funny thing is, that with the sanity... Let's drop this in here. With the sanity, the tier 3, I can get that speed boost. So, I'm going to use the speed boost to, like, run around and see if I can get all these moons as fast as possible. I don't exactly remember where they all are. Also, uh-oh, I only have one photo camera, it seems, so I'm gonna have to go back up there and get the other one. Oh boy, maybe I'll take my sanity and then run up there and do that, but look, I want to do this properly. We don't even need the ghost, we don't even need the uh, the points for the event anymore because we completed it. But I'm still gonna do this because the ghost might drain all my sanity and hunt by the time I get out of there. I'm gonna take two of these, and then I guess another smudge, and then I'm just gonna run up there. And I'll save the other two for trying to run around the bottom floors. Let's actually leave this. I don't have an inventory slot now, though. I'm gonna try to, do I even need to drop that? I'm not even sure what I'm doing at this point. Take this. Okay, so here goes my sanity. We're gonna leave this room. See, right, what I'm gonna do is end up taking one down here. So then do I, like, just take... Oh, I, hmm. What I'll do is, I'm going to do this stupid, like, Mario Kart track on the first floor. Let me just make sure I don't have any other ones on the first floor to take a photo of. I don't think there was one in here. And I hmm, probably, there probably wasn't even another one on here then. So yeah, there's nothing in the bathroom. Let me just go to the first floor. I'm going to take one of those and then pick up the other one. And then just see if I can get all these moons as quickly as possible. Alright. Take one, grab one, and then let's go. Hit the speed boost. There's so one here. I don't even remember if there was one back here. It doesn't look like it. It doesn't matter, because I can just keep going. Alright, see, that was half the house I just checked, basically. Now, oh god, I'm using my scroll wheel. What the hell am I doing? There, take the other one. Take this photo. I hope that was good enough. Is there anything back here? No. I don't even remember there was another one over here, so, I mean, I'm in, ultimately I'm taking my sanity, so I shouldn't be, like, draining sanity doing this, but at least I'm going around and getting the photos. I might not even worry about getting the photos next time, because they're kind of pointless. It's not like this is exciting, so maybe next time I won't even bother getting these. Well, let's check in here, and otherwise I think that's all of them. Well, I wonder if it still says we get Blood Moon points. It's Banshee. Wow, Tier 3 Incense, so, and 850 bonus. Let me scroll on down. And yeah, we still get the points, so, well, that was a good game then. I got 19, so that's about, on average, how much I've been getting per game is like 19 or 20. Alright, I... Let's get the Tier 3 Incense and have fun with that then while we're doing this. This is the perfect time to try. So we gotta go to the shop. Tier 3. I'm not even gonna worry. Well, holy incense burner. Much larger rain, longer, longer burn time. You can ward off ghosts with more safely attacked, blah, blah, blah. Range, duration. Yeah, I basically know what it does, so let's just put it in, and then I'm gonna get back into Grafton. Okay, Breaker is in the attic. I'm bringing my big light in with me this time. Sanity, 25, prevent with a crucifix, and then escape. So. No incense, but I will be escaping during a hunt, so I think of this now, wow, two things hanging from here. I've not even gotten to play with these, so this is a cool time to be messing around with these, so I guess I'll just go in here and maybe, I mean, I don't have a <laughs> one with me. Let's just try and play this normally, and then at the end, we will mess around with the new incense. 
Okay, I was gonna go walk to the breaker, but I just heard a plate. Oh, well, <laughs> I see where you are. So what do I do then? I definitely need to go get the breaker on. Oh, and the tarot cards. I'll tell you what, let's have fun. I'm going to drop this stuff here. Are you out here already? How did you... Oh, I don't have any lights anyway. I just heard you throw up something way out here, didn't I? Maybe... See, the directional audio. I bet it was behind me. Sometimes I hear something that's behind me, and I think it's in front of me. I bet it was over here. Oh, it was probably this plate, and the EMF is gone by now. Okay, I will play with the tarot cards this game. I bet I can survive. Okay, what? <gasps> Give me a minute here. I don't even... You know what? Let's just go get the incense. I want to get the breaker on so I can see something, but this ghost immediately wants to drain all my sanity. I don't think it's all gone. Look at this though, it's already at like 70. So let's get, let's just get them all in there. I'm gonna go to the breaker, turn it on, finally. And I, I guess I'm just gonna pull the tarot cards and get insta hunting, because I feel like that's what this ghost wants to do to me. Grab my light so I can actually see. Let's go get this breaker on. Well, uh, bone, I guess I'll pick it up. I don't, again, I'm not worried about a perfect game. I just wanna have fun here. That's why this time, I don't think I'm gonna die, but I'm gonna try and use the, you know, tarot cards and see if I can survive. This might still be a good game where I figure out the ghost properly, get all the evidence, and, but I don't know, I might just die this time. And if I do die, I'll just come back into Graft and, and try a normal game, but I do wanna have fun here on the Blood Moon. So let's get some of these lights on. And I guess we're gonna play the tarot card game. Maybe I'll leave a smudge back here as like a last safety. I don't know if there's a hiding spot in any of those rooms. But this smudge will stop the ghost in its tracks. I don't really have a hiding spot. I have this one. Let me check if I can hide behind the crib in here. And I can't hide in the locker. Okay, I can hide back here. This is where I th think I'm gonna run to if I need to run away and actually hide somewhere. I'll turn on the light, but I don't know if it'll actually make that big of a difference. Okay, time to pull the tarot cards. Let me make sure I have one on me, though. I... Maybe, hold on now. See, this is why I have a hard time keeping track. So, yeah, I did have two on me. So, we got... I do have an empty inventory. So, there we go. I gotta figure it out. What do you want to give me today, tarot cards? Immediately... Oh, never mind. We already had an event. Okay, there goes all my sanity, and it insta-hunted. I, uh... I'm gonna smudge. <laughs> okay. Whoa, did he just teleport? No, he didn't. What did I just see there? God, my eyes. I have not been seeing things properly. I've been thinking, like, I'm seeing ghosts and doorways and stuff, but hey, that's how this game is having an effect on your real-life sanity. I don't know what I thought I saw there. I thought the ghost, like, teleported towards me. Well, this was not... Would this be a cursed hunt? I did pull a tarot card. No, nope, looks like it was not. So it was just me going to zero sanity. I, don't, I guess a cursed hunt would be like the death card. I heard that was the breaker. I do have my light, and I don't have another smudge. I'm turning that breaker back on. I hate ghosts that turn off the breaker so soon and frequently. That's why gins are kind of like such a great ghost, because they'll never turn the breaker off. Well, at least you haven't broken a light. This is the smudge I've used. Let's try and toss that away. Grab another one. So we already got hunted once, and that was only because of the moon. Now, I have no sanity, but I can... Oh, okay, well, I get it all back. Oh, well, who's calling? Maybe the tarot cards will tell me. Okay. It's, it, it seems kind of fast. Oh, where's my... This. Okay, this is why I left another... Oh, God, he's going to be so fast. He's gonna be so fast because he's seen me so much. Oh, no, I wanted to get to my other smudge. It's right here. <laughs> okay, well, he did. What ghost? I mean, I know ghost speed up, and he just saw me so long that he sped up real bad. Okay, well, I had my fun. We'll go in on crafting again and have a real game. I'm just gonna leave it to spirit. And it was an Oni, of course. An Oni, a Blood Moon charged Oni. I just wanted to tell me exactly where it was and hunt me right from the beginning. So I saw the tarot cards and I was like, okay, let's just have fun. So now we're going to have like a serious game. 
Okay, so it's Sanity 25, EMF, and then Ghost Photos. So I don't really want to worry about Ghost Photos. I want to just worry about having fun here, getting the ghost right, and doing the objectives. But, you know, if getting a ghost photo is an objective, I really just need the right cursed item to help me with that. So I'm going to walk around. Oh, that was a paint can. What? Was there a paint can nearby? Wait, where is there a paint can? That sounded like it was r right nearby. Okay, see the audio in this game can be weird. It was, wow, it was right here. I guess I had to take a photo just because. Are you actually just gonna be in this room? Uh, maybe I should go and get the breaker on. I don't expect an early hunt here, but it's phasmophobia, so who knows what the hell's gonna happen. Let me get the breaker on. One of you back here. And yeah, I'd, I'd wanna go for all objectives, but if, you know, if the photo is not going to be that easy. Do we have a monkey paw again? No. What's this item? I should have looked. I didn't look for the tarot cards again. Let me go look for the item. Maybe a couple hiding spots. We already know where the ghost is. Yeah, we well, see we got one here. So maybe I can run back here if I need to. I wanted to before. I almost learned which way these doors did. The, they didn't screw me. The doors isn't what killed me. It's just the ghost was so fast it did catch up to me. No tarot cards, okay. I didn't really look at the second floor too well then, did I? Where's the... yeah, here we go. Well, I found so many of these. Oh, and it's a summoning circle, okay. Looks like photo of the ghost will be doable for once. Ah, uh, you know what, just for fun, let's take a photo of one of these just to drain my sanity. There's a hiding spot in here. Well, cursed item found. I wanna turn on lights, I don't know why. I have no idea if I'm even going to survive this one. Well, I'm going to drop my stuff. Let's just do the normal evidence gathering thing, and maybe I'll get in a smudge if it starts hunting. Are you in here, though? I don't have my thermo this time because I opted for my camera. Well, I will use this area as a starting point. Well, since I know it doesn't matter about getting the points and getting the objectives and stuff, I do just want to have some fun here. So after we determine the ghost, we'll get at least one hunt from the, you know, the summoning circle. But I want to check some of these rooms. It is seven. That's not super cold, but I mean, it's under ten. I don't have my big light on me. This ghost has done nothing else other than that one paint can touch. I mean... 13 out here. I still need to learn the actual numbers, but I'm pretty sure under 10 is potentially the ghost room, and then under 5 is like definitely the ghost room. Now I hear you on that one. Was that an event? See, sometimes these events like aren't that much. Well, we're not down to freezing. I do have my camera, so maybe I should look for ghost orbs in here. Let me get to this back corner. Okay, that was probably the craziest poltergeist throw I've ever seen. It took, are you hunting? It took everything on that table and just said, screw you, I'm wiping the table. And it, I kind of saw that through the camera too. Oh, I thought I heard a hunt. Okay, well we know what this ghost is. Should I still try and bother getting, I know I just did phantom, where is poltergeist? Should I still try and get the evidence? Oh, I was writing. Well, there's the ghost writing. Oh my god. Well, it's so funny because this is supposedly its room, but it just saw everything on that table. That was a natural, like, spot for a ghost or a poltergeist to just hate and throw everything. I mean, everything on that table just got thrown right off of it. I want to see that played back. Well. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Sanity, that'll be easy. Photo of the ghost, that's easy. Well, let's just try and mess around with the incense again. I want to like try and incense and then get to a hiding spot properly. So, all right, we'll leave this ghost here. I'm going to bring in my incense and I guess well, what? Yeah, sanity and then photo. We'll start with that. You know, moments like that are why I want to make videos on phasmophobia because now that is on recording and I can save that moment forever. And phasmophobia has such great naturally generated moments that, you know, they can only build off, you know, this game, and I, you know, there's so much they can do with this game. That's why I'm just so excited, and I know they will, because why would they be hiring so many employees if they're not going to be updating their game? So let me think. My hiding spots are back there. 
There's not really one here. I didn't really even look too much. I don't even know. I think I do have one back there. Do I have one back here? I don't want to kill the breaker. <laughs> yeah. yeah, see, there is one technically here. <laughs> Come on, let me get out here for a second. I don't want to get hunted just yet. See, that's the problem. I need sanity. I... Okay, yeah. Can I not place these? Here, drop everything. I need to go get sanity. I'm glad I thought of that. See, that's a poltergeist throw is a straight up 10. I'm pretty sure a poltergeist like that is always 10. So I do have high enough sanity, but I'm glad I thought of this. I'm not going to worry about taking the sanity like this to get away. I just want to use the tier 3 right now, but I'm going to take this. I'm going to throw maybe these down or just one in case I need to pick it up. There's a door touch. Let me go get my flashlight and then I'm going to get a photo of this ghost. I guess I just kind of want to get experience here smudging and then running to a hiding spot, which is like the ultimate way of, you know, surviving in this game. So let's also just get practice. We have room for the ghost photo. Oh, I don't have the camera. Okay. So much for holding two smudges. I'm not even... Do I bother dropping anything? I don't need anything up here. I'll drop a smudge here. I'd like to maybe smudge at the top of the stairs and then get away. And then we have another one down here. Okay. Let me get the everything I need. We got lighter, smudge camera everything i should have i should have high enough sanity watch me die here that's why i'm gonna try and get away i should have a i don't think it's drained my sanity and i took so many okay she didn't move i'm gonna run kind of watch her oh god and here she comes so maybe i smudge here close that door maybe turn off my light i'm gonna grab this and i'm gonna run and the thing is, is she going to get down here and see me? Kind of run this way, maybe? Alright, there we go. I Maybe close that door for safety. Oh, I don't... That other door is open, though. Okay, get in here. Was this open? I've played so many games. It's a good thing I got in here, because Jesus Christ, she did get down here fast. Alright. Well, there's... The lights are still on. I was going to say I survived once. Maybe I should get back. She, this is a cursed hunt. Wow, okay, no, this is lasting way longer than I thought. Okay, please, let me get out of here. Well, there's not much else I can do to play around with the poltergeist. I recently just did, I, I've gotten like three poltergeists recently, so I just did a video on all about the poster, poltergeist explosion, so I'm not going to worry about that again. We got a good ghost photo. We survived a hunt. So, let's just get out of here, and I think it's time to move on to Point Hope and do the true finale here. <laughs> Maybe get ready to die on Point Hope. Yep, there's the pull there, guys. 1300 so after buying that too, it was 1500 That's why I was spending money, because I've been buying stuff. So, yeah, down to 18 so I need to be doing good here. But now... Time to go to Point Hope. We're going to try and do two good games on Point Hope, and maybe I'll have one game like on Grafton where I just mess around with the cursed item. The breakers in the game room. We got a photo of ghost again, motion sensor, and then ghost event. So I'm just going to get in there and see where this ghost is. And of course, ring the bell for good luck. Oh god, and also cause lag spikes with it. Okay, that was loud. Oh man, I didn't even notice some of this stuff too. But here, we got a nice hiding spot in here. I don't really trust this one at all. There's a candle in there. I don't feel like I've been to Point Hope too much. I think it's been about the same. I visited all the Blood Moon maps about the same. But I, don't, I just don't feel like I'm used to uh, Point Hope being all like this. Okay, hiding spot under here. I'm not going to worry about the moons again. I just want to kind of face the angry ghosts and the faster ghosts from the blood moon we get a cursed item that'll tell me the ghost room that'd be great there are good hiding spots around here though all right get that breaker on and make sure to close that now, am i hearing something maybe it was just me oh big bone over here i guess i'll just take a photo why not well, I'm going to just walk around in the dark and drain all my sanity. Oh, look, that looks so normal here. Well, another photo of Ghost, and we have the summoning circle, so at least it'll get done. But I kind of wanted to play around with, like, the tarot cards again, but 
hey, this isn't the round I wanted to do that, so maybe we'll have a good game. But I'm probably going to get hunted here with how much my sanity is draining. I should kind of wait. I don't have my thermometer. But now I'm not even looking for the cursed item. I'm just looking for a cold room or some kind of ghost interaction. And I guess also if there's some hiding spots around here, which of course that one's not. Oh my god. See, I, it's just so weird. I feel like I don't... I'm not used to Point Hope being all demonic like this. Alright, I tell you what. I haven't been walking around with this out. I should just go get the thermometer and do the thermometer strat. Was that something? N no. It's the clock. But where's there a clock? It must... Oh, wait, what? Doesn't that clock only go off if someone interacts with it? There's a clock going off. It's not this one, is it? Does this always go off? I guess so. I think this always makes a noise, but sometimes it'll chime. But I guess it's always going off by default, and I heard it on the second floor. There I mean, I'm not- is anyone here? I guess I could ask for a sign. But I- I'm not used to hearing that in here. Again, I just haven't played Ho Point Hope that much. Well, there goes all my sanity. So I'm gonna probably have to take sanity. And we're just gonna use the thermometer to figure out where the ghost is. Unless I'm getting hunted. What are some of these noises? Okay. So there's an EMF-2 off the breaker. So, and it did kick the breaker. So I think a gin could give the EMF-2 but then not kick the breaker, but it, it's not a gin because it actually did kick the breaker, so I don't know. That's weird that that happened as I was walking by it, though. You know what? I'm, I'm going to leave my stuff on this floor just so I have some kind of like a medium in between floors. But I'm going to go get everything else I need and, well, thermometer and just like two other evidence, I guess. Please don't hunt me from down here because there could very well be a ghost down here. This is awful. Please let me out. Okay, there. <laughs> We're fine. Well, actually, Sandy's pretty good compared to how I thought it was going to be. I'm going to just take one, then... I kind of want to walk around with a lantern. Maybe that's a, the play, is to do that. Then I'll look for ghost orbs. So let's go around with the lantern, the flashlight, and the thermometer to find the ghost room. And I kind of want to check through here as we're walking... But if it's pretty warm, I feel safe enough. It could have been like that bathroom in the start, but I don't think so. Doesn't seem to be up here either. There's my flashlight. I know I don't have any lights on, so let's get a light on in here. The problem is I haven't been using my lantern. So what we'll do now that I'm set up, I'm going to drop everything here. Let's scan this floor. The other two floors weren't cold at all. I bet it's like up top or something. Damn it. I was supposed to do that with my empty slot so that way I wouldn't have to light it again. Alright. Walk up here with the lit thing. Close that damn door. Put it down. Scan. Make sure it's not cold. And then once we know it's not cold, go to my open hand, pick it up, and then that way I don't have to relight the damn thing. And well, I'm not in hunt range, so now- oh god, please don't like accidentally light this thing. Now we're just doing like a creepy walkthrough of the location, which is one of my favorite things to do now, is to take this lantern and just spookily walk through these locations. And just, you know, this makes like using the thermometer so much more fun. Are you actually in here? I, I'm still hearing creaking and stuff. And I don't know, it just makes it so like immersive to like walk through here, check a room and it kind of used to be boring. I don't know, it just, it felt boring to, you know, it was a thermo zombie thing. But now it, this feels kind of, I mean, you're supposed to now, especially with the tier 3. Ooh, that's a colder room. Is anyone here? That seems like it was thrown maybe over there. I mean, this is the coldest room I've seen compared. I'm not seeing my breath. Is anyone here? See, this is why I love Phasmo. All of a sudden, you're playing like a true, like, ghost hunter. I just gotta find, like, an interaction before I even know where the ghost is. Is anyone here? Give us a sign. 
I mean, compared to all the other rooms, this is the coldest, so, like, maybe it's roaming? Let's check a bit more up here. Oh, did I, I didn't turn this light on. So were you just making an adjacent room really cold? Because you were roaming there? Yeah. Okay, maybe you've just been roaming down there and making that room cold. Okay, so I would rather you be up here, though. This is like the furthest up I can deal with the ghost being. I mean, obviously I've dealt with a ghost up there, but I do not want to go up there again. I'd much prefer it in here. Well, we've made our journey up here and found the ghost. So let's get the few evidence things I have in here. This is where I want that headlamp. I actually kind of prefer the headlamp more than the night vision, because with the headlamp, you can just put it on in, in moments like this where you just kind of need that extra little bit of light to help you get back. And it's, you don't even really need to use it during a hunt. It's just kind of helpful for moments like this. Now, of course, everything's lit up because of the blood moon. And that helps. But normally on Point Hope, I'd be going back in the dark. Well, I'm going to get these three things up there. And then I'm going to still have to go back for more. Maybe I can get EMF. I'm going to turn on some of these lights on the way back, I guess. Yeah, at least this way I'll be able to see my way down. Is there a ghost coming after me? If I wanted to, I could take photos of the totems around here and intentionally lower my sanity. But that'll lower my sanity. Don't make me run up to the top. Am I going to see a ghost orb in here? I feel very vul vulnerable. There's the ghost orb. Ah, that was very hard to see, but there's a ghost orb. Part of me wants to drop everything and run so i'm going to we found a ghost orb i'm going to run away before it starts hunting from anywhere in this general area i'm going to go back to the truck it'll probably hunt but i don't know i need to see what objectives but i want to take sanity and just figure out the ghost but we get ghost orbs so like as soon as i see ghost orbs i feel like it's a mimic which is a good thing to remember because ghost orbs always means it could be a mimic how are you flashing lights down here? That has to be just like a house thing. There's no way you were actually all the way down here. Unless you're a banshee and you followed me all the way down here. There's no way. Oh, oh god. Maybe that's why he was flashing. Because <laughs> we're being hunted. Alright. I, I don't need to close this, but... Maybe I should close this. There, we're fine. Alright, get me out of here. Hmm, actually just under 50. I don't need to go down to 25. We do need that photo, so I'm gonna need to, like, save my sanity. But that means I need to, like, get up there. So if we do have ghost orbs... I didn't really check for freezing, and then... Oh, man. Right, that's the problem. I still really need to figure out this ghost. I'm gonna have to take one of these. I don't know if I'll have enough sanity at the end to use the... I need like 80 sanity to use the summoning circle. I don't know if I'll have enough, but well, maybe I'll be fine well, Let's just take the evidence stuff up there. I Guess I'll take the UV without salt. There's no doors though I really want the salt with the UV, but I guess I don't have a choice Maybe I'll just leave spirit box and go for UV and hope that it's just UV and not spirit box Oh, that's well, I, I don't uh, I need something to like protect myself don't I? Maybe I'll get it. No, let's just go for it. That's why I took the one sanity. So I'm going in with evidence and just hoping to get evidence again. The black salt could slow down the ghost too during a hunt. So breaker is still on, but all these lights are off. I guess I'll start turning lights on from here because that shouldn't be enough to kick the breaker. I'm hoping Point Hope hasn't drained all my sanity like it normally does. I haven't spent too much time in the, the dark coming back here. I don't uh, I don't want to use up all these right away. I'll save one. Put this down for sure, right in the middle. And then I wait for him to walk through salt. Now scan for this again. I don't- oh, okay. Well, freezing. Now, see, we're getting closer to Mimic. Mimic- does have freezing now pick up the right one. Oh, oh my god uv so now we do need that damn spirit box okay well this could be enough easy enough because this is room small enough so getting spirit box should be all right but it's either a hantu or a mimic now getting hunted could tell me if it's a hantu and also a mimic because 
Oh, I'm still thinking about that weekly, man. But it really did teach me a lot about the Mimic, so we need to see if there's Spirit Box. Because some Freezing is Mimic, UV is Mimic, and Spirit Box is Mimic, and Ghost Orb is also Mimic, so... Okay, then I don't need to worry about being up here too much longer. I guess I could light this if I... even... I do have my candle still. Alright, let's just go right back down. Maybe I'll get lucky then, because now I'm not draining that much sanity. I just need to get the spirit box, and then photo, and then motion sensor. Okay, so let's get a spirit box, and then the motion sensor. And it's either Hauntu or Mimic here, though. Ah, uh, good old Point Hope, though. I'm constantly taking a long time to get back. Alright, I'm going back in with a smudge, a motion sensor, and a spirit box, so... One way or another, we're gonna figure this out. I don't trust that it's a haunt too, especially after everything I've been through with these mimics. I think with that weekly, they may have just like increased the chance of mimics. Because when before when they would release a new ghost for like the first two weeks, they would increase the the chance of you finding that ghost. So I feel like for some reason with this mimic or with this weekly, they just increased the chances of you getting a mimic. That's what it at least felt like. Because how the hell could I like get two mimics in a row, go to bed, wake up the next morning, and get another mimic the first try? I just feel like they had to have been spawning a more or something. Okay, never heard that foghorn sound before. Maybe I should like take it seriously. I didn't look at my sanity, but it should still be good enough. I'm just gonna get right on up here. What? See what this motion sensor tells me about where he's going. Oh, you're over here, and that means I can use this. Are you here? Are you friendly? From behind. Oh my god, what, what is going on? That is four pieces of evidence you're giving me. That's a mimic. Let's turn off ghost orbs. It's a mimic. Since you... I can't see what I am looking at there. There's my light. Let's look for the ghost orbs again. I know I saw them right here. And there's the ghost orbs. Man, <laughs> what is my luck with mimics again? But that means that I can just kind of do this easily. I just need the photo of the ghost now. Wait, I don't... Uh, where's my camera? Do I have it on me? I cannot see anything against this black background. It's right there. Okay, well, there's an easy ghost photo. But the thing is, I still wanted to use the summoning circle and get hunted. So maybe I could just get hunted anyway. Yeah, let's just do that. I don't think I'm going to bother using the summoning circle. We have the smudge. I don't need this camera. Got my smudge. That's all that I'm really worried about. Alright, so I'll tell you what. Let's get hunted the old-fashioned way. What is going on here? Is that supposed to... What is going on? Oh, it's all connected, but it's... I don't, oh, that cannot be correct. I don't know what happened there. Oh. Give us a sign. There goes that motion sensor. That was a sign. Well, do I go... I want to do like a cursed hunt so it takes longer. Oh, God, I was about to walk down the stairs and then he stopped me right away. And then he's slamming stuff. I'm going to walk down here very slowly. I do I want to use the summoning circle what what is he mimicking oh my god do I have a hiding spot in here I'm about to lose my mind is that a Dio what the hell oh it was a revenant it's mimic. I was thinking I wanted it to mimic something crazy. That was a revenant. Cause it, it looked, it felt like normal speed. Oh my god! It tried to kill me with a revenant at the very end there. And you know what? We have to survive this hunt. I, I we still have two more games. I wanted next game. We're gonna mess with the uh, some the whatever cursed item we get. It might not be the summoning circle. But that was a revenant. I was like, how did it like go so fast? I don't know how I survived that one. I mean, that was a mimic mimicking a revenant. I wanted it to do something cool there, but I and I thought at first like, oh, it's just like a normal hunt. But then it, it just immediately went, went full speed, and I, th I didn't think revenant right away. I thought they, I was just like, no, that's a revenant. Well, I wonder how many times it changed. But we're gonna take that as a success. I should have all these. We know it's a mimic, more ways than one. I mean, I could have gotten another hunt. I guess that was the only hunt. 
but I want to take this as a win. Now, next game we're going to play around, and then we'll do another good game for the finale. Yeah, that time it was obvious, and the weekly wasn't going to confuse me, but I, if anything, I have learned a lot about figuring out the Mimic, and I even know the Mimic's evidence now. It's fingerprints, or UV, freezing, and spirit box, and then the ghost orbs as the extra. Alright, so like I said, <laughs> I... I might not die, but I want to go in here and play around with the cursed item, and if I don't die, then I'll try and have an actual game, but who knows what here. I really shouldn't be dying, but after this event, I will be like, just going back to playing normal, and I'll, I'll be making money, and, and I'll be playing Nightmare a lot more, so I will think I'll be getting a good amount of money. Alright, it's in the pool room, Jazz Hans, Escape, or Bell, and Prevent, all hunt objectives. Well, like I said, I'm going to go in here. I don't need a photo of anything, so I'm not going to worry about that. Let's just get... Well, okay. Holy, maybe... Uh, let's just worry about having fun, so... Let's just go find the curse. It's not a blood mood. What? Where's the blood mood? Ah. Welcome back. There's some jobs ready for you. Rest in piss. I guess I don't understand time zones. <laughs> <laughs> they took it away from me. I was having fun. What even happened? I... Well, <laughs> it's a good thing. I was given to understand. It's 10 o'clock my time. I, th I thought it was either going to be... I thought it was going to be 3 o'clock my time or 1 o'clock my time. Well, <laughs> that's a great way to end it. At least we had a good mimic there and a good revenant hunt to end it. And this is still, you know, a pretty long video, but... <laughs> Oops, well, it's a good thing I got on here when I did. Man, it looks so different in here now. It's kind of depressing. I'm sad Halloween's over. I want it to come back. Well, at least we still have the blood moon in our trophy case and in our hearts. God, that's ridiculous. So I had no idea. I thought I thought it was going to go away at least at 1 o'clock, not 10. How did I, how did I have that so wrong? They must have got rid of it earlier than they were going to say. I... I thought I had the count. I was looking at that thing and I had the countdown timer. Oh well. Well, that was Halloween 2024, everyone. Thanks for watching. I guess next time we're just going to be going back to Tanglewood. We're going to be doing Nightmare on Tanglewood and just going back to having fun with the game until the next update. So, thank you so much for watching. So, if you're still here, thank you so much for watching. Remember to like and subscribe, and I will see you all next time.